JFK was one of the most influential presidents over the past hundred years. He was also one of our best political speakers too. He was young, so he could relate to some of the younger generations of the time, but he was also old enough and mature enough to be able to make decisions to lead. He was in the middle on the political spectrum uh, to today's standards, so it made him a very clear choice for president because both sides agreed with him very well. In 1963, he made a speech in West uh, Berlin called Ich bin ein Berliner which was a speech about the separation and the building of the Berlin Wall down the middle of Berlin, dividing it into two halves, the west side and the east side. The east side was a socialist um, regime led by Heinrich Lübke. Um, they built the wall to keep people from the west side from interfering with things that are happening on the east side. It, this was all in response to the Cold War and I will get into a little bit more of that later on in the speech. The Cold War started in 1947, January 1st. Uh, the war was due to the tensions of US and Great Britain versus Russia and Communist Germany, which was technically democratic Germany during the time. Um, the East was controlled by the German Democratic Republic and the West was controlled by the Allies. Um, Kennedy sent Vice President Lyndon Johnson to West Germany to see what was going on and to get a little bit more information on what was happening um, on the site. Kennedy then followed a couple, of, a few days later and eventually the Allies and the USSR had to stand off at Checkpoint Charlie, which was the only, the main entrance that you could get in from into East Germany and West Germany, vice versa. That was the main checkpoint. Um, and as I said, there was a standoff there, which lasted for several days, and uh, Kennedy made the speech, Ich bin ein Berliner, um, which was basically a speech showing support for the people of Berlin. Um, he says in the speech how they are all one, and the most famous line which the speech was titled after was obviously Ich bin ein Berliner which signified that, which means that they are one, they are, they are one, a citizen of Berlin, um, which actually was kind of misinterpreted at first because Berliner is actually another, has another meaning, which means a jelly-filled donut, which is, so it kind of came out to say that he is a jelly-filled donut, which is kind of funny, um, but it was meant to be, I'm a citizen of Berlin. Um, the speech instilled hope upon people of West Germany because it showed them that the Allies were there to help them and to restore peace and to try and get them back to the unity that they know that they could be. Um, and honestly, the little confusion on the wording that JFK used towards the end, which the speech was ultimately named after, probably added a little bit of fun into it. And I won't say that it brightened up the situation, but in a way, it kind of could have. Um, so JFK was just one of those presidents that pe made just people feel at home. The way he talked, the way he spoke, he made everyone feel like he was talking to them. And um, not only was that speech amazing, um, it also relates into what's going on in our world, depending on how you interpret it nowadays. Um, he's saying about how everything needs to be unified and they need to bring back peace and come together and not let their differences separate each other. And you can't divide a country because of opposing views. Um, and that kind of relates to Biden's inaugurational speech where he was talking about unity and how we all need to come back together to be one country. Countries shouldn't divide themselves to hide things from one, one another or just because they're having opposing views. You're supposed to work things out and. That's ultimately the whole point of JFK's speech.